times. Told y'all I was spinning the block, so you know what I mean? We're not even surprised. You already know who it is, the one and only homie chef, aka Wings912 on IG. That's W-I-N-G-Z-Z912. If you're looking at me, it's the Almighty Shoe Review. But this is actually a preview before the review, so I'm not even gonna waste y'all time. You saw what I did last time. If you didn't, go back and catch that part one, man. Easter Pink already rocking. They dropped on the 27th of May, so be sure to tap in because it's like a week away, you know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, in between time, the next shoe up on the list is another highly anticipated shoe, but I really want to talk about this one because I get I get nervous about this shoe. I really get nervous about this type of shoe. So not even gonna waste no time and let y'all see the box. So you already know what it is. And uh yeah, them colors read silver, green, bean, flint, gray. And it's none other than <laughs> Yeah, the green bean fives. Hey, y'all already see, man. I didn't want to turn the lights off. I'm not going to turn the lights off so y'all can get the full effect of what's going on with this shoe. And, yo, that, yo they extra. They're so extra for no reason. <laughs> yeah, he was crazy. All right, so now that we got the shoe, let's get into it. So off top, yo, it's a fire shoe. This shoe looks so good that the Huba grade at 3M is, is completely amazing. And you know, they have the ability, well Nike has the ability to put hues on their uh, 3M. So this one is just left a flat, pretty much a flat silver. And as you can see, when I had the light on it, that thing is bright as all outdoors. It was really, you know what I mean, shining. Now, it, as good as this shoe looks, I have a super huge drawback to this, you know what I'm saying? But we'll get into that in a second. So, basically, like I said, the whole shoe is 3M, and the only difference in color variation is the eyelets and midsoles, you know what I mean? When it comes to the eyelets, they're just a darker hue of gray, and then when it comes to the midsole, it's the same dark hue of gray with the, you know what I mean, lime green accent that matches the uh, sock liner, you know what I mean, the Jordan that's stitched on the tongue, and the uh, lace lock. They have the icy white bottoms with the green Jordan, and then not only that, but they have the lime green uh, sock liner, like I said, with the uh, lime green and white Air Jordan uh, tag on the back of the tongue. Now, back to my biggest concern of this shoe. 3M, if anybody has ever owned a Jordan that's a 3M, the biggest situation that you will ever have with wearing the shoe is it cracking. It's gonna crack. It, it folds to whatever crease you put in it. I don't think there's any type of way to prevent it. It's not. And it's just gonna be the first thing that happens with this shoe. I have owned the Jordan 9s, and not only that, but I've also owned the Jordan 1 Fearless. My Jordan 1 Fearless pairs, when I bought, I didn't know what was gonna happen and I actually saw the shoe, but I didn't buy it originally on release. Um, I didn't kind of like, didn't like the shoe, but then after I saw it, I knew I blew my, it blew my mind, and I knew I lost out. And I kind of, you know what I mean, got blessed with the shoe from Nike. But even when I got it, laced it up and wore it, I was so scared, I've only worn that shoe once. Now, moving on to my Jordan Racer 9s, Racer Blue 9s. Those I've worn, and when I wore them, I saw the cracks in them, even though it's not a whole entire shoe, it was still the bottom of the nine, the outline the outside, and the outline of the like lower part, but it cracked immediately, and it kind of cracked bad, so, you know. I'm wondering about these, it has me on the fence looking at them in hand. Um, it's still a beautiful shoe, and I, I, I hate to say it, but I think I'm still gonna buy them. I don't, I'm, I'm wondering if there's gonna be a shield guard good enough, because the five isn't like the one. I want to know if Nike actually tested it to see that even with the creases or, you know what I mean, the creases in your foot or you naturally making them walking, that the shoe won't crease because a crease is going to show in that. Like, it's going to show and it looks really, really bad when it creases, you know what I'm saying? Because as you can see with the pictures of my eyes, it looks bad. But, um, let's go ahead and get some chefs. Let's go ahead and rate this shoe, you know what I mean? Before we do that, one more good look. I'm sorry, y'all. This is this is one of them shoes. All right. Now, when it comes to the chefs, I'm sorry. This is going to get a ten. This is going to be one of those shoes that, when as time goes on, you're going to either wish you had in your collection, 
or you know what I mean you go ahead and be so happy that you had it in like you know what I'm saying regardless of the whole cracking factor you know what I mean it's still an amazing shoe you can't beat you're not going to be able to beat that green and that, and that silver you know what I'm saying that green and that gray however you want to call it but it's a def definitely a dope shoe the color blocking isn't really color blocking but it's just a great design great execution very clean and my I mean I'm looking at it right now and I'm just completely blown away so yeah this is a classic this is one of those ones the OG was a classic and this this reiteration of it and you know what I mean kind of remastered version is good and I just want to see how much better it's going to be on foot that's crazy I don't know why they, they're crazy why would the Jordan shout out to Jordan y'all doing it you know what I'm saying so let me know how y'all feel what y'all think about the wear and tear the wear and tear that's going to be on this shoe and what it's going to be like to actually wear this shoe you know what I mean is this one you going to chase? This is one of those ones in the summer that had in that summer rotation that I felt was good. You know what I mean? Same with the Easter Pink. Same with the uh, Neapolitan 3. Those were the ones that, out of all these new ones that's coming, that I thought was pretty, pretty dope. The only other one that I'm thinking about is maybe the Yellow Toe, Yellow Toe Jordan one. That's probably the other one to round out. It wasn't too many, but they got these right. So get in the comments. Let me know how you feel. I always appreciate y'all tapping in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because, like I said, I'm, I be, I be bringing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be, I be really. You know what I mean? I'm here for the people. I'm here to, here to make sure you're not wasting your hard-earned money on these shoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm making sure you're getting the right things, and then more importantly, you know what I mean? I'm trying to make sure you can catch them and you don't have to pay them insane resale prices, man. So. Tap in with me on IG, W-I-N-G-Z-Z-912. If you're interested and need help, holla at me before you holla at go, holla at StockX. If you're really, really interested and you want to tap in, get in the description and hit that notification and join the track. Because like I said, you see, we do things and we know you know how to make things possible. We got a lot of kicks in, you know what I mean, the repertoire. You can see a lot of the playlists and you can see on my IG, yo. The sneakers every day. Shout out to Mickey and them boys, you know what I mean? Boston, New York, Jersey, all of them, you know what I mean? We holding the whole East Coast down. So, love, peace, and happiness. As always, keep it mean and keep them sneakers clean, man. We out you. 100.